Yeah, what's good, everybody? It's the one and only, and only one, Fleetboy Jetson. And if you're tuning in for the first time, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click that notification bell so you can be notified for upcoming videos and live events. Trust me, I got you locked in on everything you need to know about Naruto the Barto Shinobi Striker. In today's video, we got some huge news. That's right, we got a shop update. We got NWL rewards from NWL 92. I couldn't believe when I looked at the number. We're eight NWLs away from 100. That's crazy. But we're going to get into all of that. But before we do, man, don't forget to go like my second YouTube channel. Go subscribe, comment. It's called Voice of the Heroes Podcast. I got Hidden Rose on there, Milo Uchia. And we just did an interview with the voice actor of Michael Yurchak. Excuse me, the voice actor of Obito, Michael Yurchak. That's right. You're not going to want to miss that interview. I'm going to play about three minutes at the end of this video but y'all, just to give y'all a taste of some of the thought behind the mind that brought Obito to life. And also, we got Hidden Rose, Milo Uchiha. Y'all know them boys. If you don't, make sure you go subscribe to them for more Shinobi Striker content. But let's get back into the video and let's get into this shop date. But before we do, we got to talk about the news. That's right, man. Bandai is cracking down. They are still banning people for mods and cheating. Kudos to them. I'm not even going to lie. I'm kind of happy that they're doing this because we waited way too long to get some of these cheaters out of here. And to let y'all know, man, they got the sword and shield joint and the last two outfits. So it's official. All the leak items that I showed y'all when Barto came out are officially out and available. Now we're going to go look into the store, see what 1010 got for us. And they got them, man. That's right. Me, I only had five esoteric scrolls. So, you know, I'm going to try to roll my luck, see if I get them. I, and just to let y'all know, it didn't go too good, man. That's right. So, y'all going to want to grind them SO scrolls, man, and play fair. Because right now, Bandai is not playing with these accounts. If they catch you cheating or stealing from them, they are shutting you down. That's why me, I decided to play on my main account. And when I do show the early access stuff... When Gara comes out, it will be offline and it'll be streamed on this channel. So make sure you click that notification bell. Now the um, lineup for healers, attackers, defense, and range haven't changed. Neither did the um, exchange shop. It's pretty much still all the same. It'll probably change in a week or two. So make sure you just keep looking in 1010 shop for that. Now, let's get back to it and see what else we got going on. The Barto DLC is still available along with the new Jitsu. Make sure you check that out. It's pretty annoying. Not going to lie. Big shout out to Club X Nova for getting the number one spot. And also the rest of these Shinobis for grinding out. Man, I know it was a tough grind. And if y'all didn't cheat, salute to y'all. Now, let's take a look at what we got. And we're sitting in your inventory from the past event and then we're gonna take a look at um the new ninja world league which is actually combat and base that's right baby it's combat and base right now so you know i'm gonna be getting on and streaming on twitch make sure you follow me on twitch at fleetboy jetson i stream wednesday through sunday from 5 p.m to 9 p.m eastern time and Ida's stuff is out that ada Ida. Ada, something like that, one of the two. Well, her hair and outfit is out. So you want to grind these rewards. These rewards are actually pretty decent. Also, these are what's been data mined and what we will expect in the next two to a month is the chain sickle is what I'm most excited for and the chakra axe. Let me know who got a chain, um, chainsaw. I was about to say a chainsaw. A chain sickle in the Naruto universe that possibly could be coming to the game. I don't think this weapon right here is coming with the Gara DLC. I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. It's in the data mines, but it hasn't been worked on. It's been in the data mines since like season one, to be honest. And if they do make it a weapon, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, it just came in. I'm talking about the sand container. I don't think they're going to make it a weapon, even if it's data mine. But if they do, I wonder how they're going to use it and what class it's going to be for. And let me know in the comment section, do you think Gara is going to be a defense? I hope he is. He should be. I don't see him as anything else. But I wouldn't be surprised if they made him a range or an attack 
If they make him a healer, bro, I'm flipping out. I'm not going to lie to you, gang, because I don't see him being a healer. But in a few minutes, we're going to check three minutes of the exclusive interview with Michael Yurchek, the voice actor of Toby and Obito and Naruto Shippuden. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Let's get this video to 200 likes minimum. I would say 300, but y'all be acting shysty with the likes. Not gonna lie, even all the info and all that I be giving y'all, y'all still be acting shysty. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Show your boys some love, man. Get me back in this algorithm popping. And follow Voice of the Heroes, man. We got a podcast over there where we talk about your favorite animes. We were just talking about solo leveling. Let me know in the chat if you watched the first episode of solo leveling and what you thought about it. Also, like I said, let me know if you feel Garo is going to be a defense, attack, healer, or range. And until the next time, man, it's the one and only and only one Flea Boy Jetson. Make sure you love yourself, pass that love on, and love others. And, man, go subscribe to Voice of the Heroes. Our Patreon is out right now with exclusive interviews from Tom Gibbons, Phil Parson. Um, bro, there's so many names, bro. I don't even want to give too much away. Make sure, make sure y'all go over there and subscribe. Show your boy some love and follow me on Twitch at FleaboyJetson.com. And until next time, man, I'm out of here. Peace. And what I'm doing right here, big shout out my boy Carlo, man. I ain't mean to put this in there, but it was the only thing I had, bro. So shout out my guy, man. And shout out everybody in the KT Village, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Big KT in the building. And shout out everybody in the SPL. Playoffs will kick off next Thursday. And I could have sworn this, you know, this video was going to start playing. What am I doing right now? Don't tell me I'm about to show y'all me, me dying on stream. I know I cut the stream off before that happened. I did? Oh, no, nah, I'm selling the bag right now. See, this is what happens in post-editing, man. You, you sit here and you do stuff and nothing like It should take, speaking of your character also, being that Obito is probably one of the most greatest villains in Naruto franchise, how did... You make it so deep. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's definitely one of the greatest villains in the Naruto universe. Me personally, you know, I think it's like maybe Madara Obito. Like Thank those you. two is like, my God, they're way up there. How did you make him such a likable villain? Because, you know, sometimes you have these villains that you just can't stand and you're rooting against. Obito came around and he was one of the ones where you felt you know, some type of empathy for him and you felt his pain. How did you make him so likable through your, your, your voice? Gosh, I mean, first of all, that's a, that's a generous question because, you know, I'd, I'd love to say that it's, that it, that it was all me. I mean, of course it's the writing uh, and it's, and it's the art, you know, um, probably first. Uh, I'd like to think I had something to do with it. I mean, here's the truth is, you know, <laughs> I'm not that I'm not that big of a badass. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell that. All right. So it's like I can only do. I mean, and this is true for every actor in every role. You got to look what's on the page, but then you also got to look what's in your heart, and you bring part of yourself to anything that you do. And the the beautiful thing about Obito as a character is that by the time the reveal happens, spoiler alert, right? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, he is. He's pissed and he's dark, but first there's the whole splash of the surprise, right? So there, there's like, there's that whole thing. So people are kind of shaking their head for the first, you know, eight or nine episodes that he shows up anyway. Yeah, one of the biggest yeah. plot twists in anime. Right. And then, but then we really discover pretty quickly, you know, after he's, after he is, uh, after the reveal happens, that he's, he's wounded, man, you know? And, and the thing is, that for me was what stuck out most was that um, this is not just a guy, you know, that's rotten inside. This is a guy who was who was broken by the pain that life had to deal out to him. And he made a bunch of bad choices, you know, and I've had I've made some bad choices, you know. So it's like it's my my favorite thing about him is that we the, the audience sees his pain first. He sees it second, 
and then he then he starts to you can see the conversation and the fight with Kakashi and then Naruto working on him and then he makes a decision and he finds redemption in the end and for me that whole story was so beautiful and touching and you know I mean it a redemption story is is uh you know it's always been something that I've that I've been fond of but it's also you know in my own life I feel like I I could relate especially at the time when I was really doing it like digging into it and so on and um you know so I just I, I think that I was channeling some some stuff and again I would never sing my my own praises about the performance itself I can just tell you what I was feeling